We are team three and we are here to share our story on the game plan for change simulation. This, this is a brief overview of how our story will be playing out using the share module. Electroland Industrial Corporation is a company with a long-standing history of producing high-quality analog products, currently finding itself in a red ocean situation. There's a decline in market share, change in customer taste and preferences, and an internal decline in employee commitment and performance. We envisage to see ourselves in a new market space, deliver digital products to our customers, deliver value to stakeholders, and continue to train and reskill our staff. This will be done by a team made of individuals with great skills, expertise, and traits. We were initially faced with uh, the fear of failure, but, but turned that around as a driver for success, and with our enthusiasm to embrace the challenge to move the company to greater heights. Hindrances were encountered in the business case and the team dynamics. The business case was ambiguous and complex. The lack of information caused many different interpretations. The team had limited experience. It was difficult to agree on how to address the stages of the change plan. There were different interpretations of the tasks, which led to long discussions before finding an actual solution. There was default to personal opinion over group opinion. Gaps in assumptions or details were filled in by individual biases. Disagreements had to be overcome in order to reach a consensus. Finally, alignment of the group position had to be maintained. Actions. Our actions based on situation, challenges, and our strategy for transformational change. Also, we tried to keep the balance between continuing and speed of change. There was five biggest challenges that we have faced. The first one is the priorities. As it's performed the start of change plan and our strategy for, transform, for transformational change. So if we're getting wrong in this, in this stage, thus uh, this would affect, would affect the change plan adversely. The second challenge it was people. As they are going to apply the change plan, so they must be skilled, qualified, and have the capability to change. 50% of the staff were facilitators and resistors, and the other 50% were drivers and enablers. This, will, uh, this was deemed good as we need resistance to critique the change. Three more risks and challenges we identified were complexity and risk, goals and objectives, and the business initiatives. For complexity and risk, we understood the company had to go through a transformation of change. This would lead to a risk of uncertainty and change in uncharted waters. During the change process, it became clear that nothing was clear at all. For this reason, we had to be comfortable in chaos. Another challenge to us was goals and objectives of the organisation. As per the literature available to us, it generally states you limit your goals to roughly three or four. When we put our group goals together as individuals, we came up with 15. So to narrow us down to four, which we picked financial performance, growth in sales, talent development, and developing employees. We based these goals on the speed and urgency the company was in and employee engagement as we understand the employees to drive through the change. The final biggest challenge to us was business <coughs> initiative. This is where we had to allocate limited funding. The company, as we say, is in a bleeding situation, so it had to arrest the decline. For this reason, we picked and targeted growth in sales, reduction in cost, and improving customer experience to assist with the change. The main results were about that readiness was low and the willingness was high. We identified the main actions we used to take because we, we also saw that there were no longer no major concerns. So the main actions were related to people. We had to see who are a driver, a agitator, a resistor. We had to adapt and internalize the ideas to those people. And we have to focus on extra communication to improve our engagement. Our evaluation of the exercise has identified a number of key learnings for both the team dynamic and the business case planning process. For the team dynamics, misunderstandings in your decision process compound, and this leads to confusion and then a loss of direction and clarity of your vision. 
It's understanding that the change itself will be uh, chaotic and confused, and then, for therefore you need to be able to be comfortable operating in that environment. Your change plan needs to be constantly re-evaluated, both as your change events unfold, but also to then uh, go back and check the alignment of your group for the vision. Consensus is difficult to achieve, uh, but it's critical that you have a united leadership front and a clear communication plan for pushing that change initiative out into the uh, organisation. For the business change plan, you need a clear understanding of your current position, the threat and the current organisational situation, the vision and strategy of your new business model and new market position, a change plan that is flexible and adaptable with clear priorities and contingencies based around risk. You also need to know when to make the decision to actually initiate your change programme. Understand what is the uh, capability, readiness and willingness of your organisation to change. The key skills we identified that we needed improvement on were emotional intelligence, the, the teamwork and collaboration, improved involvement of the uh, quieter shy, item, shy members, patience, communication to aid that understanding and open-mindedness to the ideas of the team. Thank you very much.